Good morning, folks. It's March 19th. Uh, it's 40 degrees right now. The high is going to be in the 60s. So I expect to catch some of these early spawning crappie. I'm going to go to Lake Gunnersville. Now, Elmo is supposedly supposed to meet me there by the ramp around noon. But now, I don't know about Elmo. Now, he's wishy-washy here lately. I think him and his wife is still having a little trouble. Maybe not. But let's just go on to the river. We'll put in, and we'll hunt these fish. That's what we'll do. We're going to catch them somehow or another. All right, we're here at the lake, here at Gunnersville Lake. We're, uh, we've got a lot of water here to dissect. I'm here on the main lake. And uh, I'm going to focus on several different things right here, folks, to try to figure out what's going on. That cold front from my last fishing trip uh, that we filmed is actually dropped the water. The surface temperature right now is 51 degrees. And um, that might interfere with my fishing a little bit for what I had planned. But now we're going to come in here and dissect some of this cover. Structural features. Uh, of a bank right here that I fish quite often in this section of the lake and we'll see if there's any fish at home let's see how we do oh uh oh what do we got feels like a crappie I know that wind is really blowing today, folks. It's marching. Yep. Got that crappie. I may have found some right here. I've been working for about 35 minutes. Let's see if we can flip him. There he is. For about 35 minutes right here. And uh, there's a pretty good fish right there. I was fixing to move just about to move but I'm gonna throw back in that same area let's put him in the bucket now I got a my wife has a friend at work and she wanted some of these crappie and uh, I'm gonna catch her some fillet them for her so she can eat them I'm gonna throw right back in there again now because it's windy of course i'm fishing into the wind i've mentioned that before in my other videos uh crappie bass they always face into the wind um it's a predatory instinct they have i'm fishing a little bit different today folks because of the wind i'm going to use the wind to my advantage if i can today by fishing this jig under a float. There he is. Good feed right here. Feels like a good crappie. This one was suspended by this column. That's a good fish right there. We better lip him. Now, folks, that fish right there hit about 10 foot deep right here by this column. It's about a 12, 12 and a half inch crappie. Let's put him in a bucket. Okay, that's number two. Now, what had happened, I found me some fish that were up shallow looking for a place to spawn this time of year in March. They go up shallow, but the wind blew me off, so I had to come back, tie off to this bridge, 
and I'm going to try to catch some of these suspended fish if the wind lightens up this evening I may catch me some by using the other pattern see they can be several different patterns at one time let's see if we can catch another one <clears throat> there's another fish that's a small crappie now I'm a, we're not catching a lot of fish today count kind of this cold front but you're still missing it there's a little old crappie about oh seven and a half eight inches let's let that one go let him get bigger you know sometimes you have to change the way you're fishing now in my last video you noticed i was fishing up pretty shallow and felt some fish they're up shallow but now i'm having the vertical jig to catch them sometimes you can't catch them the way you want to catch them sometimes we have to fish what warrants the day especially this time of year march is a very fickle time of year but let's see if we can vertical jig one up i'd love to catch mr big because i know during this transition period here it's possible to catch a big crappie vertical jig and it's still not too late to fish these bridges let's catch another one there's another fish now this one here feels like a pretty good fish pulling a little harder ah, ain't a real big one but it's about a 10 inch crappie I might be able to catch a mess today for my wife's friend I hope so I'm struggling a little bit but it seems like the bite's picking up a little bit that one's hooked just right right in the roof of the mouth okay let's catch another one pretty good fish there struggling today but it's that time of year we got three crappie one good one there's another fish I tell you what oh we better help this one he's not hooked too good Let's try that. Pretty good fish. Not no monster slab, but good eating. Yep. Elmer's missing it again today. Elmer, oh Elmer, Elmer, Elmer. Elmer is a baby. Yes, he is. Fishing's picking up for me a little bit. I'm a little bit excited because of it it's been a rough day you can tell it's real windy and uh that's partly one reason why elmer didn't want to come today he looked at me kind of grinned he said listen it's gonna be too windy today for you catching your fish and i ain't gonna sit out there and hit that windy like that you ain't gonna catch a nerfy. Elmer was wrong. I've always told Elmer, go fishing when you can because it's good for you. Let's catch another one. <clears throat> there he is, too. Mm-hmm. He's a fighting. 
get that pink Bobby Garland jig. I don't know the right name for that. I have so many different colors. I really don't keep up with the names, but about a 10 inch crappie. Let's put him in a bucket. Tell you what, I'm having some fun now. Here on Gunnersville Lake, Alabama. Oh, there he is. Took a while to catch that fish. I had to really concentrate. That's a good, good crappie right here. Woo. Let's get him in the boat. Yup. Changing that color to white and pink in this dingy water. The water is still dingy after all this rain we've had here in the Tennessee River. And uh, let's put him in the bucket. And I had to swap colors because I was having trouble getting bites on the more natural looking color. I've mentioned that. It makes a difference. Color definitely makes a difference in catching fish. Uh, crappie, especially crappie. They see pink, white, red. Those colors stand out in dingy water, no doubt. I'm going to get it back down there at the right level. Now they're at about 15 feet. They've changed. Let me see if we can't catch us another fish right here. <clears throat> that fish hit hard. That was an aggressive bite. That's kind of unusual for crappie. I can tell it's a crappie. Well, it's a white crappie. That's the first one I've caught today. It's a good fish. Colored up real pretty. My goodness, I'm figuring these fish out now. Let's put him in the bucket. You know, Elmer used to fish with me all the time, and this is about four trips that old Elmo ain't fish with me and um, you know what it is is that he fusses with his woman now I've been married for 30 years I don't fuss with my woman my woman is always right so I'm gonna make a little song up for Elmo before we leave to go home and I want him to see it on video Okay, let's catch us another crappie. There he is. Now that's a crappie. Good one, too. Come here, boy. You done. Now that's a pretty fish. He's a little darker than those others. <coughs> Golly, what a fish. Okay. We're mounting up a mess of fish now. Here on Guntersville, on Lake Guntersville, excuse me. And uh, they've actually moved a little bit deeper. They do that. They go up and down on the water column when they quit biting. Just go put your jig a little deeper or shallow up, and you'll find them again. They're real bad about doing that. Now they've moved about 12 feet deep, 14. 
They're changing about three, four feet. Okay, let's catch another one. There he is. That was an aggressive bite. That fish right there hit it hard. I'm having a ooh, good crappie right here. That's why he hit it hard. It's a good one. Look at there. What a fish there, Elmer. I tell you what, and he's hooked good too. That's why I like to jerk straight up, set the hook straight up, catch him in that tough part of his mouth. It's a good fish right there. Let's put him in a bucket. We're mounting up a bunch of fish right now. I'm having to uh, do something a little bit different. Usually vertical jigging, I don't put a lot of action into the bait. Seems like 90% of the time you don't have to, but I'm really having to hop that jig. They're wanting a uh, pretty aggressive movement as far as the jig going up and down. And uh, that's what it's taking to catch these cold front fish. One cold front after the next. That's North Alabama for you. <coughs> Let's see if we can catch another one. did that one's pulling too They're all pulling today water temperature still 51 degrees but uh quit that heat come here quit that one's jumping he thinks like he thinks he's a bass Another good crappie. Boy, I'm catching some good ones right here. They're not what you call gunners from Lake Slabs. But, uh, good crappie. And there he is. Mm. That's pulling. Good gracious. Tell you what. There's another one. Look here, what a pretty fish. White and pink Bobby Garland jig. Tied with a loop knot. Four pound test line. Tell you what, that's a winning combination right there. Mm. There's another one. This is a bigger fish. This is a this is a gunnerful slab here. Just take your time when you got a big old fish like this. I mean this is a big one. Come here, boy. Come to Daddy Richard. We done it. We finally caught one on camera. <laughs> That's a good fish right there. That's what we want. All right. Look at there. What a... Yeah. Well, that was a lot of fun. Let's catch another one. That's the way that one did. They feel like a bass, almost. There's another one. That ain't a slab daddy, but it's a crappie. Come on in here. That's what I'm talking about. Now you talking about catching crappie. 
vertical jigging. Even though they're fixing to go on bed, this is just a good, good way to catch them when you're in doubt. 